Hello everybody, it's Yami and welcome to a Gatch Life mini movie. This one is called My Boyfriend or My Crush and it's by the amazing Lily Trescott. As usual, I'm going to have a link to the Gatcha Tuber in the description, so do make sure to go and check that out. We're big fans of Lily over on this channel. We've reacted to a few of their stories before and so I'm very excited for this one as of course it's my favourite Gatcha genre, romance. Now without further ado, let's get into it. Hey! I'm Camilla. I'm going to be showing you a story about my love life. This is my boyfriend, Ethan. Looks like a nice guy, right? I met him on the first day of middle school. I was lost and I didn't know where the class was. Oh my goodness, she's so lost and so scared. And I'm guessing this is Ethan. Mom, do you know where room- Oh, are you okay? I don't know where room 192 is. Why are you crying then? Because I'm never late. It's okay. Everyone's late once in their life. We can try find the class together. But I'll still be late. We can be late together then. Can I just say, Ethan is a cutie. He's so sweet. For some reason, his words comforted me. Okay, so I went with him. It took us about 15 minutes to actually find the class. But I was actually quite sad we did find it because I was enjoying my conversation with him. Look, we found room 192. Yeah, I guess we did. Hooray, we better go in. So a proton has a positive charge. Oh dear, the teacher is not going to be happy about those two being late. You're both late. We couldn't find the class. This is our first day here at the school. I don't care. You both have detention after school. Go sit at the back. Now, as I was saying, at first I was extremely sad that I got a detention. But the longer I thought about it, the more I realized this meant I could spend more time with Ethan. And I really wanted to get to know him better. At detention. You guys have to go through two hours of detention. And I'm going to go through two hours of shopping. Behave, kids. Bye. Two hours of detention? This teacher is crazy. It's so unfair that we have to go to detention. How were we supposed to know? Exactly, we were new. I'm glad someone here understands me. Same, you're interesting to talk with. What is your name? My name is Ethan. What's yours? Mine's Camilla. Two hours later. Detention's over. Next time, try not to be late again. Wow, she really is strict, isn't she? Hey, Camilla, wait up. Ethan, what's wrong? I wanted to ask if I could have your number. Sure, save it on your phone. Thanks. Can I text you tonight? Sure, I'll text you back. Oh my goodness, those two are so cute. And it's super lucky that they both started a new school on the same day. I spent that whole night messaging Ethan. We got on so well. And for the next month, I'd message him every night. We'd message for hours every night. We started hanging out a lot in person too. And I'd tell my best friend Katie about what happened. We then became best friends. But I knew I liked him more than that. And I even decided to tell my mum about Ethan. However, her reaction wasn't like I expected. He is so sweet. We always hang out 24 seven and he'd even miss class for me. And every night we always text each other. He doesn't seem like a very good friend. I mean, you shouldn't miss classes for anyone or spend all of your nights texting. Who even knows if you'll both like each other in years time? Why does mum have to be such a negative Nelly? What's that supposed to mean? He doesn't like me? Because he does. You don't know what you're talking about. Hun, I'm just giving you my personal opinion. Well, mum, we don't want it. It's best you don't waste your time on someone that you may not want in a- Save it, save it. You want to destroy my love life. I love him and I will always love him. You don't know how I feel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mum seriously got told. I was so furious that she was against Ethan. However, if I could turn back time, I would have listened to her while I had the chance. Oh my goodness, was that some foreshadowing? Is something terrible going to happen to the two of them? The end of middle school came quick, and prom was in two weeks. Oh, he better take her. But I had absolutely no one to go with. How about your best friend, Ethan? Hey, Camilla, can I take you to this year's prom? Really? Yes! And Ethan took me to my first prom. Oh my goodness, they both look so cute in their little prom outfits. Wait, Camilla. Can I ask you something? 
Sure, what is it? Um, is something wrong? No, no, nothing's wrong. It's just that, will you go out with me? Of course. Oh, look at them both. Best friends went to prom together. What could go wrong? I was definitely nervous to tell my mom about me dating Ethan. Camilla, you're finally back. Judging by the fact she didn't approve of him last time. What happened? Oh, nothing, just... Ethan asked me out today and I said yes. Could she say that any faster? Okay, bye. Wait a minute. Come here. Now, what happened? Ethan asked me out and I said yes. That's great, honey. It's great? Yeah, Ethan is a good guy. I've grown to adore him. Now, get to bed. It's late. Wow, mum suddenly changed her tune. I wonder why. We'd do everything together. We went swimming in the most amazing pool ever. Played Roblox. We were truly inseparable. My best friend thought Ethan and I were perfect for each other. If you guys were to ever break up, then I swear true love does not exist. My mother soon thought of Ethan as family. However, their love for Ethan is what was so hard for me to leave him. But why does she leave him? I need to know. Yes, why did I want to leave him? Tell us, please. Because he wasn't who I thought he was. He was controlling. He'd demand to search my phone all of the time. And he'd question every little thing. Who is this guy named Dad that you're messaging? Let me think, maybe her dad? Seriously, if anyone is that controlling of you, they need to go. And he'd get angry over tiny things. What are you doing? I'm turning off the lamp. Why are you turning off the lamp? Because no one is using it. I'm so sick of you touching my stuff. Oh no, I feel so bad for her. She was just turning off a lamp. It's not that serious, bro. And I'd be left stranded outside his house in the middle of the night. Yeah, that does not look like a very nice place to be in complete darkness. And his house was 30 minutes away from mine, but I had no choice but to walk back home. Well, that's not very safe. Fast forward three years. Yes, I've been with that guy for three years now. Three years too long. And there she is right now. Hey babe, what's up? Smile more. You guys are such a cute couple. True love always wins. Right, babe? Right. Saved by the bell. Everybody sit down. Are you the new kid? Mm-hmm. Let me see where you can sit. You made such a fool out of me in front of my friends. Why do you always frown all the time? Just smile. You'll never get a better boyfriend than me. He needs a reality check. There are plenty of boys out there who will treat Camilla better than he will. You two, lovebirds. Enough of that chatting. No, actually, you're moving seats. You guys talk too much during class. Ethan, go sit beside the plant at the back. New kid, go sit beside Camilla. No, you can't do that. You can't separate our love. I think this will do them a world of good. Looks like I just did. Move. You're just jealous that we have a better love life at 17 than you. Boy, you did not just go there. I've been married for over 34 years. Your little kid relationship will end in a week. Move. I will not move. I will fight for our love. Dude, it's just a seat. It's not that big of a deal. Camilla, are you with me? She is not interested. Hey, are you dating that guy? Yeah, he's my boyfriend. You could go for a lot better. Whatever. After class. Hey, how dare you ignore me in class today? You don't even care about our love anymore. You were being ridiculous. You can't argue about moving seats. You need to stick up for your boyfriend. Whoa, is she okay? I don't know. I just found her like this in the hallway. I'll take her to the nurse's office. He is such a liar. He literally shouted at her so much that she couldn't take it and fell over. All because she was okay with moving seats in class. No, I don't know who you are or why you did this. I'll take her to the nurse's office. I'm her boyfriend. Of course I didn't do this. I'm sorry, but I'll have to call the teachers if you do. It's for her safety. Whatever, take her. I don't even want her. No need to carry me. I'm fine. I was pretending. I fainted to avoid him. Oh, thank goodness she's okay. So he didn't do anything? No. No, he didn't do anything. I mean, if you say so. I'm Beth, by the way. 
I'm Camilla. There's barely any breaks in this school. I know, right? Hi, Camilla. After sitting down for a few minutes, no one was in class. Then I realized that the bell I heard was for the other grades class. And I was about 40 minutes early. You're sitting beside me again. Well, this seat literally has my name on it. Where would you like me to sit? I didn't mean it like that. I just meant it's funny that we're sitting beside each other again. Uh, I think we came too early for this class. Oh, should we leave then? Maybe we should just complete the classwork early, so we won't have to do anything during class. Oh, she's smart. We actually have some work here too. What should you do if a flame from a burner leaps out of the burner towards you? A. Touch it with your finger to turn off the fire. B. Touch the flame to see how hot it is. C. Get out of the way to turn off the gas immediately. Or tell your teacher to. Or D. None of these. I'm going with C. That sounds like the safest option. Touch the flame to see how warm it is. Duh. 30 questions later. Okay, last question. You've got long hair. What do you do with it during lab activities? Number one, cut it short. Number two, hold it away from the experiment with one hand. Number three, always keep it neatly groomed. Or number four, tie it back or keep it entirely out of the way with a hairband. It definitely has to be four. Cut the whole thing off, duh. These questions are so obviously easy. Hello class, everyone sit down. Uh, miss, we've already finished the whole safety quiz. Um, that was quick. Well, you have to come give it to me and I'll check it. And I guess you can leave class early then. Heck yeah! Wow, it really paid off them doing the quiz early. And off they go, because they finished early. Since we finished lab early, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out. Like, go to the cafeteria and get some food, or... Yeah, one second. Hey, are you busy? I wanted to ask you something. I'm hanging out with my friends. Stop messaging me. You know what? Yeah, let's hang out. Wow, I've never seen the cafeteria so empty. Well, it's my first day, so I've never seen it full. My name's Andre, by the way. My name's Camilla. 40 minutes later. We talked for so long. I guess we didn't realize we were wasting time. I was pretty bummed. I really wanted to get to speak to him longer. Well, now other kids will flood the cafeteria. I guess we can go to our friends now. Yeah, bye Camilla. Oh, I don't think he has any friends. It's his first day. Well, I guess our short conversation is over forever. The next day, I sat on the rooftop waiting for the bell for the other grade. Why? Because I purposely wanted to be early again in hopes of seeing Andre again. Why am I getting serious Yandere vibes from this girl? I wasn't really expecting him to show up. I just hoped somehow or some way he would. Hey Camilla, you came early again. Andre, do you want to do the classwork early again? Sure. And then we were able to leave class early again and hang out and speak alone again. We started doing this every single day and we started going to other places than the cafe, like the rooftop. And I noticed I felt a little weird whenever I spent time with him. Girl, I think that's called being in love. It was like the weird feeling I had when I liked Ethan. Do I have a crush on him? Yes, I think you do. She's just pacing around her room. She doesn't know what to do with herself. Why am I thinking this way? Snap out of it. You do not like Andre. But what if I do? I just love the way he smiles and the way he... No, no, no. Snap out of it, Camilla. You're in love with Ethan, your boyfriend. Oh, who am I kidding? Do I really love Ethan anymore? Oh no, Camilla's got herself into a little bit of a pickle. And now she has to get rid of Ethan. A few days later. Oh my goodness, he is not going to be happy about that. So? Yeah, Colin's the better hugger. Well, I need to get my books for math now. Bye, Camilla. Bye, guys. Oh no, Ethan is very mad, just like I thought he would be. Oh hey, babe, what's up? What's up? What's up? Why don't you tell me what's up? Uh, okay. Uh, the ceiling. No, maybe think about you being a reckless cheater. Cheater? I'm not a cheater. Oh, really? Then who were you hugging in the hallway? My lab partner, Andre. I was just seeing who was a better hugger. I don't want you ever talking to him again. Or he'll pay for it. How is she meant to avoid that? They're literally sat next to each other in class. And they're lab partners. This guy, 
needs to go bye bye, if you know what I mean. I was so heartbroken. Andre was the only person I could speak to nowadays, and now he's taking him away from me as well. She's always just crying in the hallway because of Ethan. What a terrible boyfriend. Uh, are you okay, ma'am? Camilla? What's wrong? I want to be friends with Andre. But every time I speak to a guy, Ethan gets mad. Don't cry, Camilla. It's just how Ethan is. He's just protecting you. You shouldn't be sad because of it. This girl does not realize how unhealthy that is. Protecting me, he makes my life awful. I've known Ethan for as long as you have. He's a good guy. You always just make him so mad. You always run off with other people. How dare you? Every time I message him, he's either with other people or he ignores me. What would you like me to do? Avoid any social interaction with anyone except Ethan? Well, he goes and leaves me all of the time. None of this would have happened if it weren't for you. Mm, I do not like this girl. Stop getting close with other guys. Is that so hard for you to stay faithful? I can't believe you're taking his side over your best friend. Just get out. Not even my best friend cared about me. Will I just disappoint more people if I say Ethan's a bad person? Hi, hon. You're home. Camilla, is something wrong? Are you okay? No, nothing's wrong. I'm fine. Mmm, girl, you do not look fine. Well, Ethan stopped by earlier. He was saying he wanted to see you. He really cares about you, you know? You found yourself a great guy. Ah, oh, mom's really just rubbing it in there, isn't she? Rubbing the salt right into the wound. Yeah, I know. That's all I've ever heard. Ethan cares about you. Ethan's a good guy. None of them knew how he really was. You didn't come early today. Don't tell me she's just gonna ignore him. Oh no, poor Andre. Did I do something? I don't want to speak to you. Just leave it. Uh, okay. Poor Andre, he has no idea. He's confused. He's like, why are you being so mean and ignoring me? Hey, Ethan, why are you bothering me? Uh, who else should I speak to? You said I can't speak to anyone. Who would you like me to bother then? I don't know what she's talking about. Come with me. When will you leave me the heck alone? I don't want you cheating on me and I don't want you talking to boys. That doesn't mean you should bother me. You can just wait in the cafeteria till class or something. I'm not a robot. I have feelings too. Yes, girl, stick up for yourself. I can speak to whoever I want. I wish I didn't have to deal with you. What the heck? I didn't do anything. Well, that's awkward because Andre saw it all. Why didn't you tell me about Ethan sooner? What happened? I wouldn't have let him treat you like that. I was scared. You'd side with him or something. I was so scared. That night, I broke up with him by message. The next day. Oh my gosh, he's walking away from her. This is just going to be awkward at school now. Hey, Katie. I don't speak to cheaters. Sorry. Cheater? How am I a cheater? Ethan told me what you did. You cheated on him with some guy. He saw you kiss him. Oh my goodness, Ethan is lying as well and spreading rumors. He's not a very nice person. Whatever, liar. My own best friend chose Ethan over me. Well then, she wasn't a very good friend and it's good that she's gone. Do I have anyone anymore? Yeah, you have Andre and he's sweet. Hey Camilla, can I take you somewhere? Sure. Wow, this place is beautiful. Why are there so many locks on the gate? Oh, people usually write their lover's initials on a lock, and then they put it on the gate. They throw away the key of the lock into the river to show their love is unbreakable. I wanted to put a lock on there a few days ago. You like someone? Yeah, she's awesome. I'm sure she is. I better go now. I wanted to ask the girl on a date today. So, Camilla, will you go on a date with me? Wait, what? You're the girl that I wanted to ask on a date. Will you go on a date with me? Yes! Oh, look at them. They're so cute. The end. And guys, there we have it. That is the end of today's Gacha mini movie. I am so glad Camilla got rid of Ethan. She deserves way better. Guys, if you did enjoy that, remember to leave a like. And if you want to watch another video of mine, you can click here and let's go watch it together.